Flight 11 is likely the last journey of version 2 Raptor. According to several reliable sources, SpaceX could be gearing up to retire the Raptor version 2 engine soon, because the next big leap, Raptor 3, is expected to debut with Starship Block 3 in early 2026. Now, this isn't just another upgrade. It's a revolution in rocket propulsion. The new Raptor 3 has already turned heads at NASA and throughout the space industry after its incredible showing during Flight 11's live stream. In that clip, you can actually see what looks like a static fire test of the Raptor 3, and that brilliant blue flame is the engine in action. The reporter reveals just how different this version is from its predecessors. It's got major design changes, looks completely revamped, and most importantly, it's simpler, stronger, and easier to produce. If this really is what we think it is, Raptor 3 might just mark the next massive leap in SpaceX's journey to make Starship not only reusable, but revolutionary. Background information indicates that with 280 tons force, Raptor 3 has 95 tons more thrust than Raptor 1 and 50 tons more than Raptor 1 2. And Elon says they might push it past 300 ton force, maybe even 330, in the future. That would make Raptor 3 one of the most powerful rocket engines ever built. But it's not just about power. SpaceX somehow made it lighter at the same time. Raptor 3 weighs about 1,525 kilograms. That's roughly 3,362 pounds, making it about 7% lighter than the Raptor 2, which came in at 1,630 kilograms. And if you go back to the original Raptor 1, that one weighed nearly 2,000 kilograms. When you include the total system mass, the stuff connected to the rocket itself, the Raptor 3 totals around 1,720 kilograms, while Raptor 2 clocks in at roughly 2,875 kilograms. That's a reduction of over a ton per engine. To put that into perspective, every Starship booster carries 33 engines. That means SpaceX could be saving over 30 tons of weight just from these upgrades alone, without sacrificing a single ounce of performance. It's almost like defying physics, because normally when engineers make a rocket engine more powerful, it gets heavier, more complex, and harder to produce. But somehow, SpaceX pulled off the impossible, making the Raptor 3 lighter, simpler, and stronger all at once. So. How on earth did SpaceX make a rocket engine this powerful, this efficient, and still make it lighter? Well, it all comes down to brilliant design and cutting-edge manufacturing. First off, SpaceX engineers managed to slash the number of parts in the Raptor 3 by integrating tons of components directly into the engine's structure. That includes the electronics, wiring, and secondary piping, all built right into the frame instead of being bolted on separately. And get this, they even eliminated the heavy base heat shield. Normally, rocket engines need a thick protective heat shield to survive the blistering temperatures during re-entry. But Raptor 3? It's so robust and thermally efficient that it doesn't need one. They achieve that by moving a lot of sensitive parts inside the engine, where they're naturally protected. This means fewer exposed joints, fewer shrouds, and fewer areas that need extra insulation. The result? Less heat stress, better durability, and no need for an external heat shield. That's a massive step forward in both simplicity and reliability. They started experimenting with this philosophy on Raptor 2, where they ditched unnecessary parts, switched from bolts to welds, streamlined the plumbing, and removed redundant ignition systems. But with Raptor 3, they've taken it to an entirely new level. Now let's talk about the cooling system, because it's pure engineering genius. Raptor 3 uses what's called regenerative cooling. Instead of relying on a shield, it pumps supercold liquid methane through hundreds of tiny channels inside the engine walls before burning it. This keeps the walls and nozzle cool, even when they're being blasted by thousands of degrees of heat. That cooling method means Raptor 3 can handle way higher temperatures than traditional rocket engines and do it safely. 
And here's something Elon Musk himself pointed out. The design is now so simplified that if there's ever a small fuel leak, it just burns away harmlessly in the exhaust stream. Sounds insane, right? But it actually makes sense. Fewer fire suppression systems, fewer backup components, less weight, and fewer potential failure points. And we're not done yet. A huge part of this leap comes from advanced 3D metal printing. SpaceX is literally printing the Raptor 3's most complex components out of metal using one of the most advanced additive manufacturing systems on the planet. By 3D printing entire assemblies as single unified pieces, they can ditch hundreds of bolts, joints and welds that used to add weight and complexity. The result? A cleaner, stronger, lighter design that's easier to build and maintain. Musk even said SpaceX has the most advanced 3D metal printing technology in the world. And Raptor 3 is living proof of that. These design for additive manufacturing techniques even let them create intricate cooling channels and internal structures that are basically impossible to make with traditional machining. In a way, SpaceX is doing for rocket engines what Tesla did for electric cars, making them faster, simpler, lighter, and cheaper to produce all at once. And the payoff is huge. A more efficient, more powerful engine that can carry more payload, whether it's satellites, cargo, or even people, all while being more reliable and easier to produce. That's not just progress. That's rocket science rewritten. That's not evolution. That's revolution. One more interesting tidbit, down at SpaceX's McGregor test facility in Texas, the team actually had to build brand new supports just to hold the Raptor 3 during testing. These supports mimic the base of a real rocket, allowing engineers to test not only how the engine fires, but also how it gimbals, or steers, while producing insane levels of thrust. And guess what? The tests went beautifully. Engineers were hyped. The data looked clean, and the engine performed exactly as expected, if not better. SpaceX has also been running vacuum versions of Raptor 3. Those tests are already looking promising, too. And here's the fun part, even industry experts were caught off guard by how advanced the Raptor 3 looks. When SpaceX first released photos, some people thought it was straight out of a sci-fi movie. It's so sleek and minimal compared to what rocket engines normally look like. In fact, Tori Bruno, the CEO of United Launch Alliance, actually thought SpaceX was trolling. He commented that the Raptor 3 looked incomplete saying, they have done an excellent job making the assembly simpler and more producible. So there is no need to exaggerate this by showing a partially assembled engine without controllers, fluid management, or TVC systems, then comparing it to fully assembled engines that do. But then Gwyn Shotwell, SpaceX's president, fired back in classic SpaceX style. She posted a photo of Raptor 3 actually firing during a test with a cheeky caption, works pretty good for a partially assembled engine. And of course, Elon Musk couldn't resist jumping in either. He simply replied with a one-word response, LOL. All of this innovation with the Raptor 3 isn't happening in isolation. It's part of SpaceX's bigger dream to make Starship work like a commercial airplane where you can fly, land, refuel, and fly again. So how exactly do they plan to pull that off? Well, it all comes down to full reusability. Both stages of Starship need to be completely reusable. That's crucial because if only one part comes back and the other burns up or gets thrown away, SpaceX would still have to build a brand new section for every flight. The other big piece of the reusability puzzle is what Starship itself is made of to survive multiple launches, landings, and brutal re-entries through Earth's atmosphere, the rocket's body has to be built from something tough, heat-resistant, and reliable. And that's where SpaceX made one of its boldest design choices, stainless steel. At first, that might sound old school. Stainless steel isn't exactly new technology, but SpaceX picked it for a reason. This material can handle extremely high temperatures during launch and re-entry, 
without melting or losing its strength. Other materials like aluminum or carbon fiber might look sleek, but they start to weaken or deform when things heat up. Stainless steel? It thrives in those conditions. And here's the cool part. When Starship travels through the vacuum of space, it's exposed to freezing cold temperatures. Instead of getting brittle, stainless steel actually gets stronger when it gets cold. That's the kind of property you want when your rocket's going from the heat of re-entry to the chill of deep space, sometimes in the same mission. It's also incredibly durable. It can take the stress of launch, the vibration of spaceflight, and the impact of landing again and again without cracking or failing. Plus, there's a cost advantage. Stainless steel is much cheaper than exotic materials like titanium, but it still delivers top-tier performance. That helps SpaceX keep manufacturing costs down while still building a rocket that's practically indestructible. And on top of all that, it's easy to weld and shape, which means SpaceX can build huge sections of Starship faster and more efficiently than if they were using delicate composites or alloys. All right, so we've covered reusability and materials, but none of it would matter without the engine. Because at the end of the day, a rocket is only as good as the power driving it. That's where SpaceX's Raptor engine comes in, the powerhouse that lifts the massive Starship off the pad and into orbit. These engines aren't just powerful, they're designed to be durable, really durable. Each one can handle extreme heat, pressure, and vibration over and over again, with the goal of flying up to a thousand times with almost no major repairs. That kind of longevity is unheard of in rocket engineering. It means fewer replacements, less downtime between flights, and lower costs, all key ingredients for making space travel as routine as air travel. The Raptor's secret weapon is its full-flow staged combustion cycle, an advanced system that burns methane and liquid oxygen together at incredible efficiency. This setup squeezes every bit of energy out of the fuel giving more power per drop while keeping the engine cleaner on the inside. Because methane burns so cleanly, the engines suffer less wear and tear, meaning SpaceX doesn't need to tear them apart after every mission for maintenance. That's a huge step toward the goal of rapid reuse, getting a rocket ready to fly again in days instead of months. And it's not just about the engines themselves. The whole ground system has to move fast, too. Down at Starbase, Texas, SpaceX is building high-speed refueling and turnaround systems, designed to get Starship ready for its next flight, almost like an airplane being prepped between trips. But to truly make that happen, both stages of Starship, the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship spacecraft, need to come back and land upright near the launch site. Vertical landings let the rocket touch down gently on its engines, kind of like an airplane using its landing gear. This minimizes damage, shortens inspection time, and lets engineers refuel and relaunch much faster. Landing close to the launch pad is another genius move. It saves time, avoids long transport or recovery operations, and helps SpaceX get the rocket back into rotation quickly, just like an airplane returning to its home airport for the next flight. And this isn't just about Earth. That same vertical landing technology will one day let starships land on the Moon or Mars, where there's no thick atmosphere for wings or parachutes to help slow things down.